All right, guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about some unused content in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, if you do want to follow along with this, check the link in the description. It will bring you to the Wikia page for Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Now, this is unused content. Now, there was some unused content in the first game, such as mechanics, um, just a whole bunch of stuff, animatronics, I think, even. I'm not 100% sure about that one, but there's a lot of unused stuff in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. If you want to see that, definitely look it up on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty of videos on it. So, what's unused in Five Nights at Freddy's 2? First of all, we have mechanics, unused mechanics, such as lives and a toxicity meter. I have no idea what that is. Second of all, for the miscellaneous, we have a strange skull. So first of all, let's go over the lives whole thing about our whole section right here. So it says, just like in the first game, there's an unused lives mechanic. There's, small, there's a small bar that says lives and a pixel stick figure of a person with their arms outstretched. So basically what this means is he was contemplating adding a lives feature into the game like maybe an easy mode or something like that so if you died you got to restart that same night or maybe like a point in that night and um you know from without losing any of your progress or something like that so maybe if you're on hour three and you've still got two lives left if you die it's going to restart you on hour three or maybe he just wasn't thinking of restarting at all like maybe if you died you lost all of your progress so let's say you're on night five and you lose all three of your lives you lose completely now I mean I think this would be good in the sense that if he had it added in like an easy mode and for instance if kids play this game because I mean I don't know why kids would be playing this game but I mean there's always gonna be those kids that do end up playing the game maybe if he just added in an easy mode and then had it added in this little feature with the lives thing and basically where like I said before if you're on night five you know three hour three a.m. Maybe you can use the whole live thing and, um, you know, start again from that hour. Now, would that be extremely easy? Yes. But that also brings up the other idea where maybe there was no, you know, once you died on night five, you went all the way back to night one. So maybe he could add in, like, an intense mode or, like, some insanely hard mode for, you know, the people that are able to beat 2020 mode. And this is their way of, you know, a whole nother mode for them that's going to be extremely hard. So, I mean, I think this would be really cool to see in the third game. So, definitely, Scott, if you're watching this, I would definitely like to see that. Add in, like, an extreme mode or something like that. And have this in to where, you know, like I said before, you have lives and it restarts. Or once you run out of all three, then the whole game restarts. I think that would be really cool and definitely challenging. So, the next thing is a toxicity meter. There's a strange empty meter in the game files which is labeled only as toxic. It is unknown if this was meant to be used in the main game or one of the death mini games, nor is there any idea of what it was meant to do. So, I mean, I honestly don't know what to think of this. It's basically just like it says, a toxic meter, but I don't I don't know where, you know, how you'd be toxic. Like what what would be around you that's making you toxic in a pizzeria? Now, maybe in the death mini game, I could see something like that cuz I mean, he can go anywhere with those, but just being in the you know main place where you're defending yourself against the animatronics I don't see where this could work unless it's somewhere along the lines of the marionette where instead of holding the music box maybe before he had something else in there that was toxic I guess and maybe you had to keep the the smell in I don't know I mean I can't think of what this would actually be used for but it's definitely something extremely interesting and um, I'm, I'm excited to see if he actually brings us into the third one. Uh, yeah, it, it'd definitely be really interesting and cool for sure. Now, under miscellaneous, we have a strange skull. There's a strange image in the game's files which appears to depict part of a skull's face. The upper teeth are visible with black streaming from only the only visible eye. It is unknown what this was supposed to be used for. So it's literally just a skull with, I guess he said something coming out of the eye. I actually, the image I'm seeing is way too small to actually tell. But apparently, that's what they're seeing. So, like I said, just for the toxic meter, I have no idea what this could be used for. Maybe some sort of back to the lives side of things to where maybe if you died, I don't know, like this would count. Like once you died, a little skull would pop up next to the, like on the other part of your screen that says you're dead. Like how many times you've actually died. I actually don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what, what that could be used for. But that is all they have for right now these three items now I don't know if this is actually gonna be a longer list um, later on in time but for right now this is all they have now if this does end up being a longer list I will definitely be um, covering that too uh, that's just like a part two to this series basically 
So yeah, uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And I also, depending on what time you're watching this, I might be live streaming tonight. So definitely stay tuned to the channel, or just check your subscriptions every once in a while, because uh, it will pop up if, if I do decide to stream. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.